Hi, welcome to day 46 of A Song A Day Keeps the Virus a day Away with me, Sally Rogers. Day 46, can you believe it? Well, today uh, I have a, a little bit of a heavy thing to share with you. I've been feeling, as I'm sure you have been, uh, uh, just overwhelmed by the uh, events in the news, especially around George Floyd's murder. And um, my friend Donna Dufresne, who lives down at the other end of our swamp, sent this little post on Facebook, and I just want to read a piece of it. I tried to write something myself to read to you, and this says it just as well. So I'm going to just read this little bit to you and then share, you a, song, share a song with you. Amy Borak wrote this from the Rhode Island Montessori School. And uh, Donna says, this letter is a reminder that we as whites cannot remain silent. Our silence is complicity. Neither can we expect our friends of color to fix our racist problems for us. We have to educate ourselves about implicit bias, systemic racism, and how to become an active anti-racist. And in the letter it says, it's not enough to share in the sadness, anger, and dismay. It's not enough to read and watch about it. It's not enough to send love and prayers. It has to stop. This has to stop. This disease of racism has to stop. There is no justification for any of this. And what can we do? Each of us can unpack our own anti-black biases, prejudices, and myths, stories from the past, and then take action. It is not enough to stand by silently and scared. I recognize I have white privilege, however, and because of this, it is my responsibility and all of our responsibility to raise consciousness in ourselves and our children so they may be future justice leaders, so they may create a new future for this country, a story wherein each and every black person is wildly and authentically free to be themselves. This song is about Prudence Crandall, who was a, the teacher in the first school for the purpose of teaching young misses of colors, the way she put it. She was a Quaker woman, and this song is based on a letter that she sent to the townspeople years after she was driven out of the town for teaching black kids in the town of Canterbury, Connecticut, just down the road from us. And uh, it's also been recorded uh, by Claudia and I, and it's available at www.sallyrogers.com. But here's the song, and it has a chorus. Here I sit in my 83rd year, I write this letter with ease. The sacrifice of time you have made has brought me solace and peace. I never asked for charity, only redress for the past. But my loss of home and livelihood could not dim my faith in God. I knew that justice would reign. I knew that peace would prevail. I knew Sarah Harris came to my door so many years ago. I never dreamed a town could scheme to hurt a person so. Teaching misses of color would become a state offense. I could not obey such an unjust law, it defied all common sense. I knew that justice would reign. I knew that peace would prevail. I knew that all humankind must learn to love one another as one. Well, you remember the townspeople's acts of slander and abuse. My well was poisoned, my house set on fire, no church nor shop could we use. My students suffered sorely, but they held their heads up high. Well, every step brought taunts and jeers, whenever we passed by, they knew that justice would reign. They knew
to me The papers all across the world At court in my trial by jury When the black law passed The bells did toll In a church where we could not go This news of a just recompense I meet with tears of joy I knew that just I knew that justice would reign. I knew that peace would prevail. I knew that all humankind must learn to love one another as one. Prudence Crandall, in 1833, started the first Church, first school for the teaching of young misses of color and then was driven out of town by uh, her pe by the people in the town, especially Andrew Judson, who was the, the uh, head of an anti-abolitionist movement. And his house is now a parking lot for the Dunkin' Donuts, and her house is a state-run museum. So you can find that song at www.sallyrogers.com. And uh, several of you has posted by here, well, what can we do? What can we do? I'm no expert, but you have to do what you can do. And as white people, the main thing is educate ourselves into what, uh, what our own biases are and how we can get rid of them so we can be helpful to our friends of color. Um, and they are the global majority, you know. And the main thing is to, to try to come up against our own fears deal with them and uh, do our best. I don't know the answers. Nobody has the answers. But um, one last thing that I want to say is I am pretty convinced that the violent kind of protests that are happening have been instigated by sources other than the protesters. I, uh, I really do feel that. So anyway, that's it for today. And good luck to all of you. Thanks for listening. And uh, more information about Prudence Crandall, just look her up, two L's in the Crandall. Look her up online and you'll find her whole story there. Thank you very much for being here today. Be safe, be well. See you tomorrow. <laughs>